solid plate stove switch okay now the guys don't know how to connect these things up and they don't understand what's going on okay so here's your solid plate if you turn it over there's your connections okay so ignore what's going on here that's where we're interested in okay now a lot of the times you get your seven position switch now if you can zero in nicely can you see there the cam switches there okay if i rotate it if you look at it in one position there we start with off one two three four five six seven and off what happens a lot with these switches is the customer turn it too fast and then what happens is the fingers here bounce okay and when they bounce like that they arc when they arc you get this type of effect where they burn out there you see the burn there okay when they when they burn they stop making contact okay when they stop making contact then you you sit with the the, the lady cooking at night she puts it on three and doesn't work then four all of a sudden there's a lot of heat or on two there's a lot of heat but three and five doesn't work almost no heat because the points of burnt here okay now you got to come and you got to connect this to that right it's actually very easy if you look at this wiring diagram here it tells you how to find it if it's got a seven position uh, switch you count the cam there it says count the caps okay if you look at the stove plate we've taken this little plate here this little plate here and we magnified it and if you look very carefully here, uh, zoom down here, do you see the numbers there? There, can you see that number there? This is a very old stove, so plate. And there I'm reading a uh, two, and there I'm reading a four, and there I'm reading a three. Okay, that's the one there. Okay, so the numbers are written there for the terminals on the plate there, just like you see them here. Three, four, two, one. You don't have to remember it. You just got to be able to read it. Okay. So this is quite easy. If you look at the switch, okay, on that plastic edging, they've actually printed numbers. There they printed five, and they printed a two there, and a one there, and a three there, and a four there, and the same thing there. Okay. Now, when it comes to the switch itself, if you zoom in very carefully, you look along that rim and you will see the numbers those numbers pertain to those switches to those terminals there okay if you stay with those terminals there you turn it over you find that these two terminals actually come out onto one point there okay and that's exactly the same with this terminal it comes out to one point so don't get confused by like you see two points there turn it over there's your two points coming out to a common point there so this one here this one here there is two if i read it carefully it's p2 it's this one here you can use that point or that point it's the same point okay so now it becomes very easy because you've got to connect number four to number four three to three one to one and two to two straightforward to connect this up to that number for number very straightforward okay now all it comes is you got to connect your P's up your P2 and P3 gets connected up together your P1 is your neutral okay it also goes to your pilot light here to show you when you got the stove plate on and that's your neutral coming to your pilot light and then you connect your other side of your pilot light up to 2.5 in other words 0.5 there the only thing it's ever going to do to you is keep your pilot light on when you've got your switch on. And that's how easy it is to connect. Hang on.